mirror image many times. That's the cross curve that we would see. That's the Nyquist plot of this example. Um, can you explain to me again, because I must have missed it. Why it's getting smaller, why you're shrinking it as you go. As because you go. look at the plot. This is log AR, distance from the origin. Log AR goes to where? Towards minus infinity. Okay. If log goes to minus infinity, tend to the log goes to zero. So the distance AR goes to zero. So AR goes to zero means, okay, so log means that distance from the origin goes to zero, so I end up at the origin. How do I end up? The angle continues becoming more and more negative, that's fine. Um, Mika. Is it still clockwise? Hmm? Is it still clockwise? This one is clockwise. Yes. This one is clockwise. But the one always will be. So, let's do this example. We have 17 minutes. I think it's enough time to do the Nyquist plot. So let's turn on our computer and we'll run the same program. We're going to see first the body plot and then we're going to see the Nyquist plot. So let's do that both. So here we are on the end. We do get to get to use a little bit more. And definitely bring computers on Wednesday. So there will be homework on active stability even though I will do it on Wednesday so you have only from Don't Wednesday till Monday. Fine. Sorry, that's not a boy. Does she want to be my best friend? She doesn't want to be my best friend. I'll post the homework now, but you won't be able to do it. Let's see, he's nice. You're not nice. Or at least, I'm not sure if you want to shop us. I'll pass you the email. You have to accept it before you leave the school. You know, you don't need to show your ID. That's what? Yeah. That's what? Stop it. What? The hell is that? Can you lower the screen? Let's wait until I get the picture. So we're going to start a class program. Is it the same one? AAS? Yes, yes, the same program. And but now we'll be able to understand what the Nyquist plot is. Someone calculates. <laughs> okay, so let's start the first problem. So let's say that the transfer function that I was discussing grows e to the minus 0.7s over 5s plus 1. Let's do the one we just talked about. So click to continue. Dead time is 0 0.7. Degree of denominator is 1. one seven. Zero for the position is 1. Yeah. The next one is only 5, right? 5. Degree of numerator is 1. Uh -uh. Zero. 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 Oh, zero. zero. Yeah. Okay. You know, that's like summation. Right? You want me to do that? Remember, the denominator must always be. One less. High degree than the numerator. So I made the mistake of putting one, you see, immediately didn't let me. And that, by the way, is my wife's division. <laughs> yeah. One of them. Because she wrote the whole thing. Yeah. The original program doesn't come in. All right. So click to continue. 
Uh, we can either try clockwise slice and frequencies. So I'm looking for a time change. Well, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's just, uh, okay, let's say something. Yeah. Let's say one. Okay. What? Uh, Wait, what would you All right. Uh, let's put maximum frequency five. Okay? Oh. Oh my Five God. is high enough. I lost you. Yeah. I lost you. Okay. Do you want to see frequency response? Forget that. It's okay. Say yes. Yes. So put minimum frequency at point zero zero one. Maximum frequency. Let's put five first. Probably I'll change it to ten. Sixteen hundred. So let's look at the bottom. Well, the delay was too small to really see the bottom. Log of five is what? It's about here. Log of five is about here. Let me go a little bit further. Let me make it ten. Let me redraw it with maximum frequency. So I'll use minimum point zero zero one and maximum ten. How, how did you know that five was not good? I just want to show something better than I just want. By the way, what's log twelve? What is log twelve? One point zero seven nine. And you can see we're not exactly zero, but we're at minus point three two seven degrees. That's the zero asymptote. Okay, that's the left asymptote. You can see, you can see what I was talking about. That notice that the orange line, the log AR, stays pretty constant until we approach the corner frequency, while the phase like starts going down faster. So you can see the angle becoming negative, and you can see at the corner frequency we are a little bit below minus 45. Uh, let's see. Here. So here you can see the corner frequency about here, so you can see phase lag is probably around minus 48, a little bit below minus 45. And you can see a little bit on platonium at about minus 90, but the delay takes over and we go to minus 50. So you can see log 12, okay? Log of 5 is the corner frequency, which is about here, so I would say it's about minus. Point eight, something like that. What's log of five? Log base ten of five. Probably about minus point eight. All right. So let me go back and do it with maximum frequency ten. So change mean max frequency. Point zero zero one the smallest, then the highest. 1600. I just want to go a bit higher, maximum frequency. So here's our body plot with a higher frequency. Okay. So you can see the angle is down now to minus 49. And you can see, I'm probably going to go with a higher frequency and we'll come back to see it. But anyway. Clear everyone here? Any questions about the body plot? Should we change it always? No, no, no. I just wanted to see some features. Okay, so now click go back. And you see right next, Nyquist like plot. Select Nyquist like plot. You see it being drawn, and it's important the direction. Where does it start from? 12. You see that semester I was trying to do? And now it's the string pulling in after the crossover frequency. It was about 45, it started pulling in. It didn't go on the wind because my maximum frequency is not high enough to see totally spiraling in. So I want to redraw it and let me put the maximum instead of 10, 100. That's why I wanted to go higher maximum frequency. So you can see it coming. So let me go back and change min max. Put point zero zero one. Uh, no, 
0.001. Let's put 100 for max. And 1600. Mine is so slow. And let's look at the night score now. Shoes is so fast, mine is so, so slow. I just changed what I'm doing in an night So you can see the same plot. Now we'll go further to go closer to the orange. You can see it now spiraling in. There we go. <laughs> I picked a very interesting case for stability. This would have been very interesting for stability if we can check stability. But anyway, what we have here is the body plot, the Nyquist plot of C plus. C plus always ends at the origin, and the direction is important. So I'm drawing it in black, so you know the arrow should be so that it ends in the origin. Now, you see, at the bottom says full contour. Where does CR map? At the origin. But C minus will be the complex conjugate, the mirror image. So if you click full contour, you see it's parting out of the origin, mirror image, and coming back. So the black is the C plus. Okay? Does it make sense now? Yeah. Do we understand the words of the Nyquist plot? So C plus is totally obtained if you want from body plot. C minus is the mirror image. CR just stays at the edge. And you will see an X at the point minus one, zero. That x is always drawn at the point minus one zero. And the location of the curve that between the x is the ninth stability criteria. And I haven't and I couldn't have picked the worst example for stability than this, since the lines almost look like like, like they go through the x. It is. I thought that was intentional. Yeah. Just that luck. <laughs> Not good luck. For an open stable system, the one that I told you some books have, without saying it's only for open loop stability. The Nike stability idea would be that that x is not big and so it's not inside the Nike stability. Actually, it can be more complicated than that. But so if that x is outside, we would have been stable. If that x is inside, we have been unstable and start to tell in this plot. Is this one here? Or is this one where this part of the x is in there? Well, you have to really blow it up and see exactly if it's inside or outside. I, I, think, think, it's, it's like I think it's a little bit up. I don't know. Outside. I'm not so sure. sure. It's not it's as close as I can remember. Let's do another one. Okay. okay. Let's go back and change the dimensional function. If we change, let's say, let's change the delay to 0 0.07. Then you will see, so I'm changing to 0.7, and let's do the same plot. Okay, no for specific frequencies, 0.001 and 100. Now it will be for sure state. So in this case, you will see a straight circle much longer because the delay is much smaller. As a matter of fact, I probably have not gone to high enough frequency. Oh no, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It spirals in. Okay, and you can see the X is clearly outside. This, is, this would have been stable. But it's not that simple. Uh, I will discuss this with Gates and scholars of the state. That would have been in this case. Okay, because the delay is so much smaller, you don't see the effect. You see that without delay, it would end at minus 180. 
Okay. X inside is unstable. Oh no, minus nine is okay. Yeah, minus nine. That would be like that minus nine. You said X inside is not stable or stable? X inside would have been not stable in this case because it's open but unstable. So in this case, but so how the X outside gives us the body stability criteria? When is the X outside? When is the X inside? Where is the x? The x located location minus one zero. What is the angle of the x? Zero. One eighty. Negative one eighty is the correct. If the distance from the origin, the way you cut at minus one eighty, is less than one, I'm cutting inside the x. The x is outside. If it's greater than one. I would be cutting here, the X would be inside. That's the point of stability criteria. All right, have a good weekend. Okay. But I haven't covered the full micro stability criteria. Yeah. So, the next topic is the full micro stability criteria. I still have two minutes. <laughs> here is what the micro stability criteria comes down. Now let me just have to do the Nike plot and talk about the Nike stability criteria. What? You saw what? It's an equation. What? better with a string, but then I'll show you a shortcut. They still have to have a string, you'll need to just have a rule. And I strongly advise all of you to buy a clear, straight edge ruler. You know for sure one problem in the exam will be giving you an experimental response curve and ask you to fit the first order plus time delay model with several of the methods that we have learned. So you draw a good slope line, but also for the night stability criteria, you need to stay that you. Okay, so we just cover really the night path today, we'll be covering night stability criteria on Wednesday. Carlos, are you eating? Carlos. What?